I cannot tell you how pleased I am to know that balloons have gone back to the old ways in Animal Crossing New Horizons. You pull out your slingshot, you fire it at some balloons, and you get some items. I don't think a balloon present has ever disappointed me. I take that right back! In New Leaf, Nintendo thought it'd be cool to change it up and give you special balloon furniture exclusively from balloons. Imagine if Bunny Day was every day, except for the items you got from balloons actually turned your home into a clown's wet dream. Ugh. But even though we still have traditional balloons back in New Horizons, they're still sort of a mystery to us. Does the color of the balloon relate to what's inside? Where and when do balloons spawn? And who's releasing these into my skies? I'm Zian from Nintendo Life, and today we're here to share with you everything we know about floating balloon presents in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Right off the bat, we're gonna start you out with a few tips in case you plan to head off and do some balloon farming. Which yes, it's very possible to do, it's just a very time consuming and tedious affair. Thanks to the team over at Polygon and the Reddit user Glimet, we were able to confirm that balloons will consistently spawn from one side of the map for roughly 12 hours, and then they'll change to the other side. It seems this change happens around 6am and 6pm every day, as it was for us, but some users online claim otherwise. Balloons also like to spawn on the 4th and 9th minute, so think 504, 509, 514, and so forth. They also appear every 5 minutes if you're lucky, but we found them more often appearing every 10 to 15. I would usually end up farming clams and fishing on the beach while I waited for the time to hit 824 or 939, and then I would run up and down the beach until I saw a balloon or until I decided enough time had passed and one wasn't going to spawn. Another thing to keep in mind is that if you were hoping to do some balloon farming with your friends, you'll be out of luck, as you may have already noticed that balloons won't spawn when your gate is open. We're not really sure why, as this could have been another really fun activity for you and your friends to go and do, but I guess Nintendo has their reasons, right? Now if you've played Animal Crossing New Horizons with a nice pair of headphones, you'll know that the sound effects in this game are top notch. And the sound of the wind whistling when a balloon is nearby has literally caused me to turn my head a few times in and outdoors when I'm, I'm not even playing the game. But when you play, if you're wearing headphones or if you have a nice surround system, you'll actually be able to hear the direction that the balloons are coming from, which makes hunting them down a bit easier. So a friend and I were chatting the other day, and he brought up the possibility of the feng shui of your home affecting your balloon's output, as in past games, feng shui could affect your overall luck. However, something like this is extremely hard to determine without a ton of research or hearing it straight from the devs, so we can't really confirm or deny that at this point, but maybe in the future we'll find out. Now as far as the balloons color go, we did our very best to track down as many balloons as we could with the time we had, and after hitting 77 balloons, we learned the following things. We managed to hit 34 yellow balloons in total, and out of those 34, 5 of them dropped furniture pieces, 2 of them dropped DIY recipes, 3 of them dropped clothing, and 24 of them dropped bells. So with this information, it's pretty safe to say that you can expect yellow balloons to drop bells fairly frequently. And they could drop bags of bells anywhere from 1,000 all the way up to 30,000. Maybe more, but 30,000 was the most we ever got. And then onto the blue balloons, we hit a total of 18, and they dropped 6 pieces of furniture, 0 DIY recipes, 3 pieces of clothing, and 9 crafting materials, which was actually a mix of clay and iron nuggets. So interestingly here, we were still able to get a fairly wide mix of things from these blue balloons, except for DIY recipes, but then the crafting materials were a straight 50-50 split. It was 50% crafting materials, and then 50% other things. And then for the good old green balloons, we hit a total of 16, and they dropped 4 pieces of furniture, 6 DIY recipes, and 6 pieces of clothing. Now it doesn't seem like these green balloons drop all that special of items, but it is nice that the ratio was fairly even. It doesn't seem that they favor one item over the other. And then lastly, the red balloons were the ones that we hit the least. We only hit a total of 9 red balloons, and in total, they dropped 5 pieces of furniture, 1 DIY recipe, and 3 pieces of clothing. 
Now it's hard to say if this really means that red balloons prioritize furniture because we only hit a total of nine. But the Reddit user Glamette also managed to track a bunch of information about the balloons that they hit, and they hit a total of 18 red balloons, and two of which were recipes, three of which were pieces of clothing, and 13 were furniture pieces, which just even further proves the fact that red balloons seem to prioritize furniture. So with all of this information, we now know that yellow balloons are the only balloons that can give you bells. Blue balloons have the chance to drop resources, and they are the only ones to drop resources. Red balloons seem to often give you furniture, and green, we're really not sure what's so special or unique about green. They just seem to drop you a bit of everything. Before we started this guide, I had a ton of ideas as to how balloons decided what to drop. Was it based on their color, the cost of the item, the time of day it was dropped? And none of that really seems to be the case, but one thing I'm curious about is if it's possible if green balloons, or maybe even red balloons, possibly give you new items that you've never had in your possession before. Much like how a wisp can give you a new item you've never had. Because that too could take a while to debunk. We'll have to wait until someone just randomly gets a duplicate item from a green balloon. And it could be sort of tough to prove something like that anyways. And there you have it, just about everything we know about balloon presence in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Feel free to let us know in the comments down below if you found any of this info on balloons useful, or if this is your first time hearing any of this stuff, or if you have any other information that could be beneficial to someone who's out hunting balloons, let us know down below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more content like this, then why don't you uh, fire a slingshot up into the air and strike that subscribe button out of the sky, and then ring that notification bell to be notified whenever we release new videos. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm Zian from Nintendo Life, and we will see you next time. Imagine if Bunny Day was every day, except for the items you got turned your home into a clown's <laughs> I can't even say this. And your breath smells terrible. Would you like a drink? She is curious. Do you want some? It looks like cheese. <laughs> no, no. More for me.